Hey guys, it's Tuesday night and we are live. I'm Rhonda Draculis with RK3 Designs and welcome. Guys, we are so excited that you're here tonight with us. So tonight, I actually put out a little request to our private Facebook group, those uh, people that have come to our classes, and I asked them what they would like to see me do tonight. And we had two of our, or actually, Several of our students say that they wanted to go to the Calcutta Marble, I guess is what it's called. And I said, well, okay, I really haven't mastered the perfect veining of that yet, but we're going to try tonight. So, undoubtedly, a lot of people must have wanted that same thing because I got inundated with emails and text of people saying they wanted to see the same thing. So I guess you guys aren't tired of seeing white finishes. Um, all right, so that's what we're gonna tackle tonight. But in the steps going up to that, I'm gonna show you guys a couple of other finishes and we're gonna work our way up to the Calcutta. So um, first of all, uh, let me know where you guys are coming joining us from. Let me know if this is the first time that you've watched me on YouTube because we have switched from Facebook to YouTube and I am absolutely loving it. So uh, also I want to give, uh, get you guys to give a shout out to Artica. Our, Artica. our moderators. <laughs> so our moderators, <laughs> speaking of moderators, uh, Erica and Erica. Clara, <clears throat> excuse me, Vamp is out there I believe. I'm not real sure. I have not real sure who all is out there right now. But welcome, and guys, um, they work hard for me, and they keep all the trolls away, so I appreciate it. Good evening, it. good evening. And um, they also will answer questions. Guys, those three girls right there know <coughs> their stuff. So um, if, if they answer, Erica from Artist Till Death, Clara from Clara Lawrence Art, and then Vamp. Vamp, girl, i got to get your, your, your name of your business. Um, anyway, those girls are very, very smart, uh, very, very, very good at what they do with the epoxy, and they're very accomplished artists. And I appreciate them, and I'm humbled that they are helping me out every Tuesday night. Yes, thank you very right. much. <clears throat> okay, so it's not going to be a super long, um, I say that every time, live, but we have a class that's starting in the morning, a four-day pro class. So Would I've you like got to a, show them. The, sure, sure. Our classes. We're, we're getting ready. Uh, still got a few things to get ready for class, but <clears throat> class will be starting here in the morning. We've got a packed class, and we're super excited. I love the the pro class is our premier class. It's where we really dive into all things epoxy, all things business, all things fabrication. So it is <clears throat> a very packed four days of teaching. All right, so let's get started. First thing we're going to do, we're going to start off with a very, very basic, what I call marble. And, or I guess you could, you could call it a Carrera marble. We're really not going to add any grays until we get farther along. But this Hold basic, uh-oh, what happened? Did we do something? I don't know. Okay. You're okay. Good. Sorry. <gasps> don't scare me. Um, no. So this basic white recipe is a recipe that I use so much on my white uh, finishes and then I build upon them. And the reason I like to do this is because it gives depth. Now, the Calcutta marble is usually a very flat type of a marble. It doesn't have a lot of bling in it. Um, so if you're going for a straight matte finish, and you don't want a lot of the bling, and you don't want a lot of the metallic, then absolutely don't have to do what I'm fixing to do. You can go and just do straight white alumilite dye. That's part of what we're going to be doing. All right, so we're going to start off our colors that we're using. White alumilite dye, white mica powder, and then I took some clear and I added literally I stirred my white I'll show you how opaque everything is so I stirred my white and you can see it's very opaque you cannot see through to the stick grain and then I literally took that stick 
and I stuck it in some clear and I made kind of a very, very translucent, milky white color, okay? And then I have just clear, all right? So I have white mica and it is tinted very opaquely. So white, clear. white dye, uh, another white dye, but it's very translucent. And then we have clear. All right, so we're using stone coat countertop epoxy tonight. Since it's a white finish, you're gonna wanna use the stone coat countertop art coat because of the elevated uh, amounts of the UV protection. All right, so here we go. We're gonna start off with the white, just the mica. Lay it down on the board. And like I said, this finish is a basic finish that you can build upon. There's so many things that you can add to this. Now this is our white mica powder. Erica at Artist Till Death also has a white that I absolutely love, the Titanium White by Jess Resin. is a fabulous product. I love it, love it, love it. I use it a lot. Oh yeah, and Erica, I need you to bring me some Titanium White. All right, so that was our white mica powder. Now we're going to come in with a translucent white. And I'm just, I'm just filling in the holes. Now look at the difference. See the difference in the shades? We have dark and then we have a very translucent white. And then we're gonna come in, get that hair out of the way. We're gonna come in with clear. Now why am I adding clear to this? What could that possibly do to our finish by just adding clear? Well, the answer is we're building depth. Depth. All right, so you can take a paintbrush, you could take a roller, you could take your hand, you can take a bondo spreader. Bondo spreader is my favorite. I'm going to torch this just a little bit. Leslie had it sub zero in here today, so it's a little cold. All right, now we're just going to take it. And very lightly, we're going to meld this, being very, very, very careful not to over mix. I want to see separation in my colors. That's what's going to give us the depth. Like I said, this is one of my very favorite finishes. We can, I could go from this step, I could create a granite, a white granite. I could do a, a Carrera marble by just adding a tiny bit of gray and basically just chopping it in there. And then you're gonna get some really pretty gray marbling. You could also, instead of adding or in addition to the white mica powder. You can add pearl mica and it will give a really pretty soft pearl look as well. All right. Take this out, get our edges. You want to make sure you've got all of your um, dry dry spots or the surface tension addressed. Get those edges done. Now the way that we prep our sample boards and our countertops is we round over our edge so that the epoxy can flow over very easily. If you leave it at a 90 degree, what will happen is as your epoxy is flowing, it's going to build up right here on this edge and it's going to cause a little lip or it's going to want to flow but it's going to flow um, not evenly you're going to have little ripples we do the same thing 
for the underneath. We'll round that under so that the drips now won't build up on that ledge. A lot of times when you do pour in place over existing uh, laminate, that bottom ledge is a 90 degree. And a lot of times you'll see this little lip of epoxy develop because that epoxy couldn't drip over. Torch it out. If you are doing pour in place over existing material, if at any way possible, you can sand down those edges so that you can get rid of your 90 degrees, you're gonna have a much easier time getting very smooth edges. All right. Now guys, look at this. Is this not absolutely gorgeous? Yes, I'm doing three ounces per square foot. I was in a hurry when I mixed this, so I put my drill a little quick, a little fast. So I did entrain <laughs> a few more bubbles than normal. Yes, so I am using three ounces per, per, per square foot. Now, guess what I'm gonna say? Guess. Erica knows what I'm fixing to say. This right here could be a finish all on its own, but we're gonna go to the next step. I swear I'm gonna get a t-shirt that says that. <laughs> that and walk away Rhonda. All right, has everybody said hello to the man of the hour, Kenny? No. Y'all all say hi to Kenny. You know, he's actually the star of the show. He's what keeps me going. And I don't take that for granted, I promise you. Okay, guys. What? Did you hear that, guys? I did. Did I say that out loud? Oh, my gosh. He's going to hold that to me now. Okay. So, it was nice seeing you guys. See you next week. No, just kidding. All right. Now, let's go have some fun. All right. So, the, uh, Thanks, the guys. issue with the marble that we're going to try to do tonight is the veining. It's got very, very distinct veins. Now, I have had the best of luck when I let my epoxy, this part right here that we just poured, set up about 15 or 20, maybe even 30 minutes, depending on how uh, cool it is in your environment. But obviously, we don't have that. Um, but we're gonna try to skim by it. So, the first thing we're gonna do is let we're gonna do we're gonna do sections you know how we always do sections where we'll do one section one way one section another way well that's what we're gonna do so first of all we're gonna start off with um, I've got clear I mix just with the um, uh, white opaque dye so I'm just starting with white again and then I'm gonna get a little bit of spray paint la 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 and I'm going to tint my cup just a little bit. And this is smoky gray. And I'm not, I'm not going to make it very dark at all. I want it very light. And the fact that I had already tinted it white is going to help me get a very, very light gray. You want to show them this gray? So it's a very light, light gray. Okay. All right. So we're going to do a couple of different techniques on how to do the, the finish. So if what I want to create first is a very soft, very soft background of some veins. So I'm going to take my brush, and this is just an old cheap Harbor Freight brush. Actually, if you can bang it a little bit and get it to where it's kind of real yucky on the ends, real bristly, something you would never do to your brushes, because you want them to be nice, you're gonna do it to this brush. You want it to be yucky at the end, okay? So I'm gonna take this epoxy, because I can't obviously stick it in my cup. So I'm gonna pour a little bit on the table so that I can drip the epoxy. Can y'all see that? I just poured a little bit on the table because I like to make a mess like that. All right, and I'm just gonna take that 
and I'm just going to start moving it very, very gently. I don't even know if, if the camera is going to even be able to pick this up because it's so incredibly light because I just want a very, very soft, soft finish. You can even take it, I'm going to do it at this end, you can even take some of this gray and come down here and crisscross it in. And that's going to give a little bit, and we're just building layers, guys. That's all we're doing is building layers. So it's very, very, very light. I don't even know if y'all, you guys will even be able to see it. All right, so now I'm going to take just the spray paint with no epoxy, and I'm going to spray that on the table. See this? Okay. All right, now I've saturated my um, brush, and I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to move the brush different ways. Can you reach it? Just about. And I'm going to come back over this way. The pro class is not completely filled up, is it? Yes. Oh, it is? Yes. Yeah, the pro class is <laughs> filled up. Yes, it is. Uh, I'm trying to think kind of how I want to do it. Now, I also notice in a lot of the pictures, where my can go? Oh my pictures, that you some areas are really thick with the color, and then they go into a very small vein. Now, this is something that you guys need to decide before you start what design are you going for? Are you going for very soft lines like this? Are you going for more of some heavier lines like this? So now what we're going to do, we're going to come in with our alcohol, set it, not a super fine mist, but I don't want a direct really big drops. And we're going to come up nice and high. There. Now, like I said, if I were to let this set for about 30 minutes, 20, 15 to 30 minutes, I would say, these are going to stay and they're not going to move at all. They're going to really want to stay in place. Also, I'll give you guys another little hint. And I did this on a kitchen countertop the other day. I think uh, the video was, I don't know, about a month or so ago. If you go in with two ounces per square foot instead of three ounces per square foot, same recipe, white, clear, opaque, uh, and translucent white. If you do that at two ounces per square foot instead of three, spread that out. That's also going to make your pattern not move as much. There's less material on the surface, less uh, that that uh, epoxy is trying to self-level. Because that's what's happening. The epoxy is trying to self-level. That's why our pattern starts to move. So, Hello, Alan. Alan Chambers, you're one of the reasons I'm doing this. You and Keith McGinnis. Okay, so now we have a, a really pretty base to start with. Let's start kind of playing a little bit. So... I think it was Alan that sent me a picture that had some rust color and then also had, and then Keith's sample had some darker, uh, like a little black highlights in there. So I'm going to come in with my black now, spray paint, just black gloss, and I'm going to do the same thing, okay? But you also remember you want to smash your brush down. Another brush that'll work really good is a chop brush, a chip brush. That's what I meant, a chip brush. Those little cheap, cheap little chip brushes. 
All right, so I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to be a little more kind of distinct to where I'm going to add my black. I need some more. So I'm, um, are y'all like me? You can't hardly find paint anymore. So you're going to get the very last, it's like the bottom of the toothpaste. You're going to squeeze that sucker till it all comes out. So I'm going to go back over here with a little bit of black. And I'm going to add a little bit of highlights in here. And you can even come in with a stick too, guys. If you want really defined veins, come in here with a stick. And add some fun details. Now, the beauty of this type of marble is the simplicity of it. So don't get crazy and don't add a lot of veins, all right? And another thing, when you do your alcohol, it may look like I'm adding a lot of alcohol. Guys, I am barely, barely squeezing the trigger. I mean, like, watch this. Can y'all see how much is coming out? Literally a spit. Okay, you can't even see it, it's so little. It's just enough to cause this little bit of a reaction. Because if you put too much, it's gonna look beautiful for a few minutes and then boom, it's gonna look ugly. But can you see here? I don't know if you can or not. Remember when we first came in with a little bit of the epoxy with the gray paint in it? See how it's just like almost shadows, almost background noise. It's really hard to see that on a camera. But if you were sitting at a bar or a kitchen table and this was done or a countertops, you could sit there and see all the depth in there. Okay, I love this. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to play a little bit. So, let me see. Let's go ahead and add, let's do another, let's do another gray vein. Do we have any questions yet? That I can't see my phone, the comments on oh, there. Oh, okay, yeah. Just a little. Your yeah. it goes, I don't, under, I don't know what I hit, but I hit something. So, okay. I, I can't see. All so right. The girls hopefully are getting Yeah, on. I'm sure they are. All right, so we're going to do another, another little um, type of sample here. We're going to come in. Thank you, girls. And we're going to play... Okay, now I'm going to spritz it with a little bit of gold, tiny bit. Actually, you know what? You're going to do the old Italian drip? Yeah, but I'm going to, because I just want it. Actually, I can't. Oh, that's, this spray bottle is not cooperating. Sorry, we kind of. Went crazy with good. the gold. Nah, I tell you what we're gonna do. We're just gonna let that play. Okay, yeah, so let's just forget we just did that because that did not work. That looks like poo. Poo poo, actually. So what are you gonna do? So we're going to fix it. How are we going to fix this? Okay, so guys, this is something that happens in raw life. So you get on the job site and your bottle busts and does this and your customers looking over your back going, hmm, now what you gonna do? It and just kind of... And you say, you know what? I planned all this. This is exactly what I planned for it to do. What was it the last week you said it was... Happy accident? No, the melderer, murderer, or... I don't know. Why are you bringing up bad vibes there? Oh, I'm just saying. Okay, so we're gonna come back in here with some black. One day I'm gonna be perfect. Hmm. Like Erica and Clara and all them, and I'm never gonna make these muter. Mistakes. That's it. It was a mutered it. I mutered it. Yeah. Well, I mutered it again. See, if I can do this, y'all, anybody can do this. I'm telling y'all, if I can do it, anybody can do it. 
All right, so we're going to add a little black there. And then we're going to go ahead and then we're going to, we're going to do something with this ugly stuff over here. I'm going to just, just put your hand and wipe I'm going to remeld this. How about that? Yeah, just muter it. I'm going to muter this here. We're going to get, we're going to get mutered. Oh gosh, what was that? All right, so we're just going to, oh gosh, see, now look, this is kind of looking cool here. It's kind of looking cool. We're going to come in here and pretend like this was on purpose. I'm going to have to go check my bottle before tomorrow my class starts. There. All right. Then we're going to hit it. Okay, so we're going to hit it with a little bit of plain alcohol since the gold alcohol went south. Everybody's putting the hashtag muter. Mute. Oh, Lord. If I end up with a t-shirt in the mail that says that, I'm going to be kicking some booties. Uh. You'd be surprised what people send me. <laughs> okay, now, what I also wanted to show you guys, if you're really lazy, you don't want to go through all this, but you love the white background, but you really don't want to go through all this with the veins, welcome to my little friend. My little friend is called Montana Marble Spray. It's basically known, AKA, Silly String. This is some fun stuff here, guys. So let's go down here and show them how this works first. So it's really important. You can't make this stuff go where you want it. You have to coax it. So you're going to have to come up from that nice and high. And as you spray it, you just kind of coax it in which way you think you would like it to go. All right. If you get close and do this, it looks like that. So you don't want to do that. All right, so let's go back over here and let's play with this a little bit. All right, so if you want to come in and create a super fast, super fast finish, <laughs> you could do that. Plus, it's just fun to do this. I mean, honestly, it's just a lot of fun. And it's pretty artistic. And it's pretty artistic. So now, the Montana marble effects, Montana, this is the black, I carry the black, the white, and the silver, okay? Now, Krylon has one in gold. And I'll, I'll, I found this because I did my daughter's um, dresser, or her reception desk with this. So the gold, it's not really a, pretty gold it's well it, it's real pretty when it comes out there we go well nah man this is the epic failure one here that's um look let it me kind of looks good yeah but there's not enough in the can yeah can y'all see that that color i wouldn't really say it's gold it looks gold does it it looks brown to me i'm gonna try it one more time it's a brown gold there it goes. See this? There it is. My can's almost empty. Yeah. Okay, now, you'll notice that it's leaving because I'm at, on both of these cans, I'm at the very bottom of the can. So what's happening, it's leaving some little air bubbles. If you have a fresh can, it doesn't do that. But also, what's really cool about this is you can start on a substrate that's just painted. You don't even have to have epoxy. I could start with a white board, white countertop that's just painted, spray the black uh, marble spray, go over it with clear epoxy, and boom, you're done. So that's a super fast way. I've got students that have done whole restaurants with just that technique of the uh, white substrate, the Montana marble, or even a black and then use the white. That's really pretty as well. Uh, if you have a sink with an integrated backsplash or an, you know the integrated sink and the backsplash built in, that's another, it's super fast, super easy way to be able to get color up on the backsplash is use something like the Montana marble spray and you can get those veins to go up, clear epoxy, boom, you're done. Okay, so bada let's- Bada-beam, bada-boom. Bada-beam, bada-boom. 
All right, so what do you guys think about um, these veins right here done? Y'all like that? So the thing about it is, like I said before, simplicity wins every single time. Um, I've done this finish here on some kitchens where the island is huge and you may just have a very, very few pieces of the veining go across and it's absolutely stunning because it's very, very simple. Um, so let's start kind of playing a little bit. Y'all want to play? Let's see. What can we do now? Let's add, let's add some gold paint. Okay. All right. So what we've used so far is basically just spray paint and it's just the gloss. All right. So now we're going to come in here. We're going to use this shiny spray. Now, this is a lot different the way it's going to react on the surface as compared to regular gloss paint. This is going to actually kind of float and it's not going to fracture the same way. So if you can see already, you can see how on the table, how the, the paint's even reacting right there. Now. Let's go in and add just a hair. Now I actually did this exact finish on a bathroom. Now as soon as you put that in, if you try to fracture it, you can get it to manipulate a little bit, not a whole lot, but if you let that paint sit for very long, you won't get any type of movement at all because what happens is this paint dries really quickly. So it, as soon as you put it down on the epoxy, if you wait too long, it's going to dry. I mean, it might be dry and I'm going to show you how it cracks. Oh, it's not, it's not quite dry yet. But a lot of times when you try to move it then after, after, it'll actually kind of crack on you. So I'm softening it out just a little bit and I'm going to see if I can refracture it. Let's go right here. So I'm a little thick right here. Let's see if we can refracture this. And I'm going to bring it out here. And then let's do this. Let's go ahead and let's get a really small piece and let's just come out here by itself. Now, if you take that stick and you kind of lay it flat, see how you can get really thin, thin lines? And then touch it a little bit with that alcohol. Look at that. Now also, I want you guys to notice this. You, you just hit the camera. <laughs> Don't say shit. Shoot. Don't say shit? <laughs> Don't say that. Well, I hit the camera. Okay. <laughs> All right. Sorry, so, guys. Sorry, guys. We need to blip that out. Yeah. Bleep. So see this right here is what I wanted y'all to see. See that metallic powder? That was That's the white metallic powder that we put down. When you hit that with alcohol, look at the texture that it gives. That's really cool because that's one more layer of interest that your eyes see when you're looking at this. But I love this tiny little vein. Isn't that pretty? Tiny, tiny, tiny. Let's do another one of those. All right. So now the paint that I'm using, I don't know if I showed you, it's the, this is what you want to look for, the bright, shiny finish. Anytime you see that and they have, the paints have the really shiny cap like this, it's going to react like this metallic is. All right, let's do another one. This is getting kind of busy. So obviously this is not something that we're trying to, to make a finish out of because I'm already busier than what I would like. But I'm going to come in here and I'm going to lay it flat and run it 
de Moraz. And then I'm going to come back. See, I like how it's just kind of skipping. Now, I like it like that. That's really pretty. You don't have to hit it with the alcohol. If you do, though, this is what it does. Ready, Ken? Just gives a little bit of character. Again, do you see how that mica powder reacted? So I'm actually still really impressed that even though our epoxy was very fresh when we started, we didn't let it set at all, it's still holding the pattern. But I'm going to see, so let's say, I think we did this, this first swipe. That was the first one. That was the very first swipe. Yeah. And we did it probably Seven, about, ten yeah, about 10, 10 minutes. So it's about 30 minutes old. Yeah. So I'm going to show you, you can go back and very lightly hit it with alcohol again and get it to refracture just a little bit. But I love how this black is on one side and just kind of gives that shadow. So what do y'all think about that? That's not, this looks like a little DNA X. So try to avoid this. This is, a, this is a pro tip, guys. When you're doing veins, try to avoid Xs. All right. Um, if you do hit. So how do you fix it? How do I fix it? Yeah, what would you do? Uh, what would I do to fix that? I would probably... I would say you needed to put something right I here. I would probably come in with some white. Oh, that's not white. Is that white? Oh, yeah, it is white. All right. Why do you put me on the spot in front of everybody, Kenny? Because that's what I do. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to just get white Show gloss. Show me what you got. I'm going to get white gloss spray paint. Let's see. I want to take my eye yes, off of that. up here. All right. So let's see. Yeah, I would just run a stick many times through that black. Oh, I like that black a little bit. Mm -hmm. Not so much. Well, this is not for you. How about that? Obviously. What do you mean, obviously? Okay, so now my eye's kind of going up here a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, this is very... You better not say it's ugly or you're fired. It is ugly. Well, it's ugly because I had because... my gold threw up. Mm -hmm. The well, gold. Well, fix it. Well, How about I, some... I don't fix throw up. Wipe it up. Add some turquoise. Oh, add now some, you're talking. Add some blue. You know what? When all else fails, let me tell you something. You want to fix it? I'm fixing to fix it. Let's let me see. show you. Just wipe your hand all over it and show no, them what no, you no, can no, do. No, 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 no. You want to fix it? I'm fixing to fix you. Put some uh, Montana marble on it. Oh, wow. She did it, guys. When it doesn't work, just make it granite. That's right. Add a little bit of gray, a little bit of, a little bit of white. Where'd my white go? You just used it, goofball. No, that was black. This is. No, that was white. Oh, that was white. I thought that was gray. Hi All right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's been a long day, y'all. Oh, and here it comes. Throw it down. One time. For Erica. Do Erica's face. Okay, here's Erica doing the Italian drip. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna kill me. <laughs> All right, so we've created granite. Actually, we've created a mess. How about that? Yeah, you did. <laughs> that was not what I was hoping for. Well, I just made you hush. How about that? But you did take care of this area. Yeah, see? <laughs> Okay, so let's focus on this end, okay? Erica wants to know why you hate her. 
I love you, Erica. I love you. All right. So what happens if you don't <laughs> like that? You start over. How about that? Leave me alone. All right. Okay, well. Well, let's see. Where's the rest of my clear? Let's see. We got a little bit of clear left in here. Let's. Hmm. Somebody said a blue flame. A blue flame? A vein, maybe. I can't see my. I don't I'm going know what to I'm doing put here. a little bit of Why I white. Can't see. I am going to add a little bit of white here. Let's see. Y'all sticking with me or did y'all dump me? Yeah, you lost a bunch of people. <laughs> no, not really. All right, so I did some white. And we're just going to kind of drizzle this back over here. See, guys, always mix up extra material so you can play. Where's my Bondo spreader? All right, let's see what happens. Let's see what <laughs> of a mess we can make. <laughs> oh, yes, y'all. That is... We are making a mess. You know what? Sometimes it's fun not to give a rat's behind what you're doing. Just go play. Just get in there and play. Sometimes it's fun to do that. It takes all the pressure off of you. You can just have a good time. I think she needs some wine. I need a bottle. So I just bought three bottles of wine t today. All right. Now we're starting to look like something. Yeah. Look, it's starting to look like something. I don't know what, but I'm sure if you were to go look for this type of stuff in a granite yard, it'd cost you a million dollars because it looks like that. All right. It's so all I'm, muted. It's all muted. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm going to have to get another can of black spray paint. Here we go. All right, so now let's play a little bit. We're going to start adding. Why are you shaking so much? I'm not shaking. Oh. You're making me nervous, Kenny. Is that what it is? Yeah. You got me nervous. So now all I'm doing is taking spray paint and I'm literally dragging it on a stick. On a stick. Having fun. Now some of <laughs> I can see that see this? Can y'all see this this blob of stuff? Clumpiness. That clumpiness? That's that silly string. But it's gonna look cool here in a minute, y'all. Just trust me. Heat gun always works a little nicer. Yeah, I'm not a heat gun fan. No, you're not. I'm not. I really, I'm really not a heat gun fan because I just, I don't like melding this. I don't like, I like, I guess hard, maybe more hard lines. But we can whoop out a gun if you need, if we think we need to. Let's catch it on fire. That's not going to do that today. All right, so we could just keep doing this, okay? But I'm just trying to get some detail in here. All right, so I like that. I think we'll add a little bit of white to a couple of spots. So tell me, guys, what would y'all do in the comments? Let me know, kind of, would y'all walk away? Throw would, it away? Well, not yet. You, you have to, this is how you learn, <clears throat> okay. for real. This is how you learn how to manipulate. Because look at this now. That is really pretty. That That is a really pretty finish, actually. It, it is kind of pretty. Yeah, see? Now watch. Going to hit it a little bit. All right, see? Now that looks like, 
That looks like a piece of rock right there. That does. I mean, I could even hit it with a little gold oh, here. Oh, hell. That's... This gold scared me. This is what started this whole problem. Yeah, it did. That's all right. I'm going to do it in this corner over here. Watch. Just a little bit of gold. There. See? Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. And all this is, guys, is gold mica powder mixed with 91% isopropyl alcohol out of a ratio of about a quarter ounce to eight ounces of alcohol. The problem was is my little sprayer stopped up, I guess, and that's what happened a while ago, and it came out all at one time. But this kind of looks kind of cool. So you owe me apology, sir. How many people think that Kenny owes me an apology? Hmm? There's not one comment. Oh, give him a minute. Y'all better pull through for me, y'all. <laughs> y'all better get my back. All right, guys, so what do y'all think? Okay, let's get rid of that. Let's, let's get back over here to business. All right, so what do you guys think? What is the one thing? Okay, I'm going to give something away. Okay. So my moderators. Well, how, how are we going to do this? Moderators. I can't see the. Well, moderators are going to decide, okay? Everybody says and they're then, Switzerland. They're Switzerland? <laughs> All right, we're going to give something away. All right. When I first started this finish, what was the one thing? that I said makes it really nice and that you have to make sure that you do, all right? There was, there was a word that I used and I said, this word really makes it. So I'm gonna give him a couple of, couple of minutes. Well, how are we gonna know? Because Erica and Clara and Vamp are going to let me know. So watch for, watch for, their, watch for their remarks. Layers, depths. Okay, I'm gonna give you a hint. Rounded corners. Starts seal, with an lips. S. Starts with an S. I said blank is the key to this finish. And I wanted to make sure I didn't do subtle. E, you're you're very close. Very, very close. Almost right. Whoever said that. Almost right. Swirl. Okay, the second simple. Almost right. Okay, I'm going to have to go. That's, yes, that's Pear. almost it. I'm going to give you a couple more sec. Well, the third letter is M. Well, that oh would be gosh. simple. <laughs> it's simplicity. So whoever said simple oh. wins. All right, so whoever said that? Guys, whoever said that? Erica, somebody let me know simple. who said simple. So it was going to be Sherry, I think. Was it Sherry? I don't know. All right, I'll find out, and I'll let you guys know. So in just a minute, I'll, they'll, they'll let me know. Um, all right, guys, so simplicity is the key to this finish, all right? If you get crazy with this, it's going to get very... Sherry. Was it, was, it, was it good? All right, Sherry, good job. So what are you going to give her? I'm going to give her a T-shirt. Okay. All right, so Sherry, we have gray, we have pink, and we have black. So um, let me know in the comments what you want and what size you want. Or uh, uh, actually, just do this. Email me at, at uh, rk3designs at gmail.com. Let me know with your address, and I'll send it to you. OK, very fun. All right, guys. So um, yeah, back to simplicity. That is the key to this. Because if you do very simple, and even if you don't want the dark gray, you could do this with a very, very subtle gray, just where you barely see the gray, and then ever so often come in with a, um, a more bold gray or even a black. So I hope y'all like this. Um, this is a really popular finish, guys. It's getting even more and more popular. I keep thinking white and black is going to go out, but I guess it's stuck around here for a while. So... Let me know uh, what you thought about this finish. And uh, we are running a promo right now. Um, Thanksgiving 1-0, Thanksgiving 10 for 10% off. But next week, y'all need to watch the live. That's all I'm going to say.
Y'all just need to watch the live next week and uh, it might be worth it. All right, so also remember we're doing our 2,000th online customer is going to win $500 worth what? of products. Yes, I'm so excited. Uh, we're almost, we don't even know what we're at right now. I'll have to, I'll have to ask. I bet think, Andrew's I watching. I think we're at about 15, yeah, I think we're at about 1,500. Yeah, Andrew won it last time when it was uh, right at 1,000. So, um, guys, I appreciate you guys uh, joining us. I, this is my favorite part of the week. I love, I love joining with you guys. So, if you have any questions uh, that Eric and them um, weren't able to ask me, you can email me, obviously, at rk3designs uh, at gmail.com. And also, all these products are available on our website, rk3designs.com. We do same-day shipping uh, if you order before noon. And we just got a big shipment in, so we are restocked. For those of you that are waiting for the uh, quick coat, we're still back ordered. I don't know what's going on. Uh, they don't have an ETA for me either, so we're still waiting on that. And uh, let's see, what else? Anything else we need to tell everybody? All right, so I guess that's it, guys, until next week. Remember, don't be scared, move forward, and be created. creative. Creative. What? <laughs> I need a glass of wine. All right, guys, see y'all. Adios. Bye. Thank you.